The Lord be with you. Next week is half term. But Wednesday is also Ash Wednesday, which of course means that Tuesday is Pancake Day. The day before Lent is sometimes called Shrove Tuesday or Fat Tuesday or Mardi Gras. It's the last day before Lent, and so it's a big blowout before giving up on excesses for Lent. In past years, many of you have come to a pancake party in church with games and a pancake tossing competition. Maybe this year you'd like to make pancakes at home and have them with lemon or maple syrup. Today we're going to read from one of the Old Testament prophets, Ezekiel. And he's found pretty much right in the middle of the Bible. And we're going to read a vision he had which equipped him and told him what to tell the people of Israel who were then living in exile. I felt the power of the Lord was on me. He brought me out by the Spirit of the Lord, and he put me down in the middle of a valley. It was full of bones. The Lord led me around among the bones. There were many bones on the bottom of the valley. I saw the bones were very dry. Then he asked me, Human being, can these bones live? I answered, Lord God, only you know. The Lord said to me, Prophesy to these bones. Say to them, Dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. This is what the Lord God says to the bones. I will cause breath to enter you. Then you will live. I will put muscles on you. I will put flesh on you. I will cover you with skin. Then I will put breath in you, and you will live. Then you will know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded. While I prophesied, there was a noise and a rattling. The bones came together, bone to bone. I looked and saw muscles come on the bones. Flesh grew and skin covered the bones. But there was no breath in them. Then the Lord said to me, Prophesy to the wind. Prophesy, human being, and say to the wind, This is what the Lord says. Wind, come from the four winds. Breathe on these people who were killed so they can live again. So I prophesied as the Lord commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they came to life. They stood on their feet. The ash we put on people's heads is made from burning the palm leaves or palm crosses from the previous year's Palm Sunday service. As I put it on somebody's head, I mark them with the cross and I say, Remember you are dust, and to dust you shall return. Turn away from sin, and be faithful to Christ. We talk of God bringing all things to life. The ash on our heads is a reminder that it is by God's love for us that the material, the dust we are made from, has life. Like the story of Ezekiel in the Valley of the Dry Bones, which God can bring to life. You might think of Lent as a time when we give up things that we enjoy, things like chocolate or sweets or cake or some sorts of drinks that we particularly enjoy. But Lent isn't about trying to make ourselves miserable by giving up the things we enjoy. It's about trying to remind ourselves, trying to remember that we are dependent on God for our life and to try and enjoy the love of God in which we live. Sometimes we can become so focused on certain things that we enjoy, they can become our entire focus rather than thinking of God or our family or our friends or other people. When you're training for a sport like swimming or football, gymnastics, you need to practice. During training sessions you might for a period of time work on one type of stroke or one type of kick or one move. Stopping doing things in Lent is meant to be a time when we practice putting other people before ourselves, when we practice putting God before ourselves. Practicing in Lent helps us to be better through the rest of the year. This year we've given up so much because of the global pandemic that rather than suggest you give something up for Lent, I'm going to suggest you practice some other act of kindness. Perhaps you could ring somebody, a friend or family member, to chat and see how they are each day. Or 
as with the previous lockdown, you could do a piece of artwork and put it in your window or on the school's stream to cheer up others and give them something full of colour to encourage them and make them feel better. So let us pray. God, our Father, the strength of all who put their trust in you, mercifully accept our prayers. And because in our weakness we can do nothing good without you, grant us the help of your grace, that in keeping your commandments we may please you, both in will and deed, through Jesus Christ our Lord. We say the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We are all saints, and we aspire to learn with faith, faith that enables us to recognise everyone as loved by God. We are all saints, and we aspire to learn with faith, faith that enables us to have compassion, hope and trust. We are all saints, and we aspire to learn with faith, faith that enables us to persevere, to respect one another, to grow in wisdom and to flourish. I pray that you may have the power to comprehend with all the saints, to comprehend the breadth and length and height and depth of all things. I pray that you will know the love of Christ, which surpasses all knowledge. Amen. Well, I hope you've been able to enjoy the snow. Uh, the last couple of days and that you're able to have a restful half-term break uh, in some way uh, in the coming days. And I pray for you and your families and those you live with and those you love uh, that uh, God will show you his mercy and his love. And the Lord enrich you with his grace and nourish you with his blessing. The Lord defend you in trouble and keep you from evil. The Lord accept your prayers and absolve you from your offences. For the sake of Jesus Christ, our Saviour, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.